One of the more rarely used elements of SQL is hierarchical queries. And it may come as a surprise because a lot of other databases have not had hierarchical query syntax for some time, that Oracle introduced the connect by clause with its very first version. Way back in Oracle 2, you could do hierarchical queries. And most of us have done the standard demo where we look at the employee table and a manager of null means you're at the very top of the company. And we do a start with manager null and connect by prior to get that hierarchical loop through the table. And we get the results as you can see. That obviously proved not very useful because it just looks like I got the same rows back from my employee table. But we added some pseudo functions such as level to show you whereabouts in the hierarchy each row sat. A common technique would be use something like RPAD then to pad out the rows to give that sort of nice cascading parent-child relationship when you actually output your data in a hierarchical situation. And that's where a lot of people's knowledge of hierarchy queries tended to stop. But I just thought I'd show in this video a few extra things that you might find very useful when you're dealing with hierarchies. The first one is sysconnectbypath. What that does is it concatenates each element from the starting point in the hierarchy, you could think of as the tree or the root of the tree, all the way down to the lowest level. So in this case, you can see we actually start with king, and as we traverse the hierarchy, we slowly build up a string which contains the entire uh, sequence of values back to the highest level. Be aware this is limited to the length of a varchar 2, but if you're using something like max string size set to extended, you can crank that up to 32 kilobytes, which should be enough for most hierarchies, one would imagine. Similarly, while most demos always go to our familiar emp table, don't forget that hierarchies can also be used in any SQL statement. So for example, here I've got a join between employee and department, and that still works just as fine. The hierarchy processing gets done after the join has been completed. Once you start dealing with hierarchical results, the concept of order by becomes slightly different. If I just threw a normal order by statement on, then if I'm ordering by employee number or even ordering by the level, I lose that nice tree-like appearance to my result set. One of the things you can also do to preserve that structure, yet still get a semblance of sorting, is using the order by siblings clause. Then at each level in the hierarchy, we will sort the rows in the normal sorting fashion, but you don't lose that nice hierarchical sense of the data because we're doing it at each level in the hierarchy for each of the siblings. Now, having seen these demos, I know what you're gonna come back with. You're gonna say, that's all great, Connor, for my 14 row emp table, which has a perfect hierarchy. Any company that's ever tried to build an organizational hierarchy in say their employee listings knows that Yes, when you first go live, your hierarchy looks just fine. But let's face it, managing hierarchies in a genuine organization is a non-trivial affair. We've all encountered those things where you go into some people organization hierarchy application and it says that John reports to Mary and it says that Mary reports to John. We start getting issues with the data quality. In fact, people say, yes, hierarchy queries are fine until you try to run them against a genuine organizational hierarchy because often that data is just garbage. But I'll mimic that. I'll update one of my rows in the employee table such that I've now effectively broken the hierarchy. I've now got an endless loop in there. One of the things you'll notice when you use a connect by query is your query then crashes. You get an error saying there's a loop in the connection data, which is fair enough. We can't simply go traversing a hierarchy forever. But all is not lost because one of the things you can also do is use connect by with the no cycle extension. What that will do is traverse as much of the hierarchy as possible. But when you start entering these cyclic patterns in the, in the hierarchy, then we're gonna avoid it. We'll simply move onwards and continue in the hierarchy. That way you get 99% of the data depending on the quality of what you've got in your table. But there's even more nuggets of information you can grab from your hierarchy queries. I'm going to insert a few more rows here such that we have more than one top level employee, not just king anymore, plus a few more relationships. Now we can explore that hierarchy with some of the other pseudo functions that have become available in the more recent versions. If I look at the output from my query, some of the kind of questions I might want to ask are, am I a manager? I.e., do I have any people that report to me, any people underneath me in the hierarchy? Or if there is more than one top level manager in this organization or department, who is my 
ultimate manager? Who do I report to at the very top of the chain? Without having to write complicated subqueries, that's easily available now with these pseudo functions. There is the connect by root pseudo function, which says wherever I am in the hierarchy, show me the row or the linkage back to the highest level in the hierarchy. So for some people that will be King, for other people that will be Dennis in this case. Similarly, I've got connect by is leaf. That tells me, am I a leaf node? If we think of a hierarchy as a tree, we can think of branches as being values that have subsequent or subordinate information and leafs being at the very edge of the tree. So if I'm a leaf node, then I'm an employee. If I'm a branch node, then I would be a manager because I have subordinates underneath me. We get that information with connect by is leaf. And if we're using the connect by no cycle to deal with loops in our data, then the connect by is cycle pseudo function tells me, have I encountered one of these loops? That's a great way of finding out incorrect data in your hierarchy. So bringing all those functions together, you can see in my output here that we get nice useful information now much more than just the ability to traverse a hierarchy, we can actually get information about each node in the hierarchy and also get the useful information for debugging any data inconsistencies. The good old connect by clause has been there since version two, but over the versions of Oracle as it's evolved, there's a lot more goodies in there just waiting for you to explore. <laughs>